Hi everyone, um, I'm Kerry, I am 20 years old and I'm from England. I'm recovering from, well I say recovering, trying to recover from bulimia. Um, I have depression, anxiety and emotionally unstable personality traits which is not fully borderline personality disorder but it's definitely on the spectrum. But the psychiatrist can't make up his mind whether I actually have it or not because he's a bit stupid. Never mind. Um, I've never posted a video of myself before. Um, probably because I hate looking at myself, hate taking pictures. So yeah, I thought I'd go full blown and make a video. Um, I've recently been watching a lot of YouTube videos by Educating Shani. I'm not sure whether anyone knows who that is, but she's a beautiful young lady from America who's 32 and she's recovering from an eating disorder. Um, she's recovering from bulimia and she is so strong. Like I don't know her, but she's probably one of the strongest people I've ever seen online um, she's recently put into perspective how much having bulimia or any other eating disorder how much damage it can cause to your body um, my eating problems first started when I was in secondary school I was about 13 um, I was always the fat friend me. Um, no, I was, I was always a fat friend. To be honest, I was overweight in school. Pro probably way overweight. So, obviously that attracted a lot of bullies. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not a special case. I know a lot of kids get bullied at that age and I'm not saying that's what's, that, that's what fully caused my eating disorder, but I do think partly it was and bullying is just horrendous oh i just i can't put into words how much i hate bullying because what you say can affect someone for the rest of their lives they don't forget what you say you might think you're just having a bit of fun calling someone fat or oh you ugly cow but you don't know how much those words would impact them growing up so anyway, back back to educating Shani. I'm sorry, I go a bit off track. Um, I've watched her videos for a few months now and it's absolutely heartbreaking to see how much pain she's going through. But in a way, I'm glad she is expressing what she's going through through her videos because no one really sees the bad side to bulimia. No one sees the effects that it can have. Um, she's just such an inspiration to make these videos and I'm so motivated by her to try and get better through what she's posted on her videos. Um, so my eating probably, my eating probably started to become disordered when I was about 13. So that was about year nine. I'd gone through bullying and something else happened within the family that I'm not I'm not really gonna talk about in this video because it's just an introduction. She says that almost five minutes long. Never mind. Um yeah, so at thirteen I started restricting. I was eating around a sandwich a day. I couldn't get myself to eat and even when I did, it was a very small amount. I used to lie to my mum, she used to message me all the time, which looking back now, it was stupid of me because she used to text me seeing what I'd had for my dinner and I replied, oh yeah, I had um, some pie and gravy or what are them things called in school? Turkey Twizzlers or anything, I'd make up anything and tell her that I'd eaten dinner when I hadn't, I'd just starved all the way from last night. Um, so yeah, in about just over a year, I lost about three stone. Um, I wasn't I wasn't underweight, but I was 
people said I started to look a bit gaunt and they were worried about me. Um, something changed after that. I'm not sure what it was, but I started to... I used to be starving all day through school. I wouldn't eat and then when I'd come home, I'd eat everything. Like... I was absolutely ravenous. I used to come home, I'd go in the cupboards, I'd have four rounds of toast with bread on, I'd have crisps, cereal, pizza, ice cream. And I think that's where everything changed for me. At that age, when I was, what, 14 or 15, well, I'd say 14, I wasn't purging at all. And then once I got to about 16, 17, I sort of found out about it and how to do it. I mean, trigger one for anyone, but at first I wouldn't, I tried to be sick by sticking pencils down my throat and my fingers and it wouldn't work. So all the food that I was binging on when I used to get home, I was just putting on in weight and I absolutely hated myself. And then I sort of, I don't know, I had a really good goal at purging the most horrible thing you could ever do to your body as well as self-harming and other things I know I'm not narrowing it down to just purging but yeah I started I knew how to purge and then from then it was constant binging purging binging purging and then I had a few months well no probably about up to six months where my behaviours weren't too bad um I was losing weight by restricting. I was, I was still binging the odd occasion and purging, but I'd probably say my eating now has got a lot worse in the past year, year and a half, maybe two years, definitely within the last few months. So, um, I think it was probably triggered by a breakup that I had. Um, now he's with someone else and it kills kills me to see and automatically i went back to the mindset of i'm not good enough i'll never be good enough and that's when the binging and purging started again um i'm not as bad as a lot of bulimics but i do binge and purge up to five or six times a week depending on different things um and it's such a waste of money. The amount of money I've wasted on binge food, I couldn't, I couldn't put a number on it. Um, I know I'm just babbling on now. Um, but I'm I'm hoping to make another video if some people give me feedback on this one. Um, maybe about the different types of eating disorders and the dangers of them, and I don't know. I don't know. I'm a bit new to this. I'm a bit awkward, as you can probably tell. Um, but no, I'd just like to dedicate this video to educating Shani um, because she's such an inspiration and she's one of them people that I would love to meet up with even though she's on the other side of the country. Um, so if, if she watches this, I just want to say, Shani, you're so beautiful and you're doing so well. You might not think You might not think you are, but you're so you're so strong you've suffered with this for years and years and i am so proud of you for taking the first steps to getting better um yeah so that's all for today um it's nice to meet you all um yep i'll see you next time bye